internet welcome back to the doing it is channel today i am going to internationalization uh, i have already done the code that is necessary for this to work so let's do a demo and start off so i have singular french russian hindi and english singular is our native language in sri lanka french russian hindi and english so right now it's in english uh, i'm going to click on singular and it's going to convert so welcome uh, it's going to say, uh, welcome in singular is our adana to your tutorials uh, and we have french we have russian and we have hindi okay so it all works so first things first let's make the uh, let's explain the code uh, first what i did was show these languages in our layout files for this i created a params dot php uh, this is already there so in my doing it is a channel backend config i have params dot php and i have created additional uh, array languages and i have have a key lk and the values so i have that next what i did was i went to my main dot php layout files and i looped through that so for each each languages um, as key as uh, take the language and i have echoed it out and that's what created this okay next what i did was i created a send i'm going to pass an ajax request to a site uh, to the site controller uh, i did that using ajax uh, so i have created a click event on the language so this is the class of language we have the class of language and i wrote a click event i got the language that is in the attribute id so if you go check here the id has the key key is the language key okay uh, after that i am going to post it to site language i posted it and what i after do i do that i location dot reload which is going to reload the page in our reload the page so when i click it's going to reload that the reload happen is reload happens when we send the request and we get back a success event and that's going to that's going to fire the reload event next uh, let's go to the site language and check that out okay we have the action language don't forget that i have have added this language to my actions rules uh, next uh, i have checked if there is the post lang we have that posted value and if that is so i'm going to set the e app language to this language and i am going to set a cookie so we have i have already done a lesson on cookie i'm not going to explain that i, I added that and that's it that's the whole action for language uh, next is what i did was yes I have to do the configuration for ELTN, I18N. So it's a component that this is internationalization short version, and I have given this app a translation and given the name app. So where I use this app is when I do the translation in my view file. Uh, let me go to my index.php. I have used this G translator function that is provided by so here is app so this word app should be coincide with this app here if i change this i would want to change this otherwise it will give an error uh, so the next thing is the so we have a base path so the base path the default path is going to be on the messages directory so in my doing it easy um, folder I have in the back end I have messages directory and I have folders for French, Hindi, Sringhala and Russian. So that's the default path. I haven't changed that so I have created a messages folder. If you want to change that of course you have to uncomment the base path and add the path that you have your files in. Next uh, the file map is in the app.php so every file here every folder here has an app.php file so french folder has a app.php hindi singhala is going to have an app.php and russian is going to have an app.php file so that is the configuration part of it once you do that uh, what we have to do is because we have set a cookie here 
why we have set a cookie here is because let me show that um, let's it's in Russian now I'm going to ch change that to Sinhala Sinhala and it changes to Sinhala now I'm going to close th close this browser window and I'm going to go back into localhost and to my directory now it's still going to have the Sinhala translation done for me it is the same for I mean that's you do that by using cookies that's why we set a cookie so where we where do we check this cookie if there is a cookie existing and if that is so we are going to take the value and set the language for that cookie I mean so language for the site we do that in our uh, check log uh, logged in component uh, first let's check where we call that so as before request so after the components array finishes I'm going to in the as before request I'm going to call upon the class of backend components check if logged in and that is going to go here so I have extended the behavior class and I have have the public function events so I have over event overwritten events and I have called event before request and I have called a function called check if logged in actually this is not a good name uh, I'm going to say change language here also it's going to be change language uh, and what that does is it checks if there is a cookie uh, language that has the name lang and if that is so I'm going to set get the cookie value by using get value and I'm going to assign the e app language to that value in the cookie that's who I be that's why the browser knows even though it is closed that this user has used signal and we should remember that and show it off so that covers the whole uh, internationalization part actually even at least the configuration and the basic basics of that so translations are very complicated so for each sentence you should get a human to translate the particular sentence into Russian or French or whatever the language that you want if you go um, in a practical terms if you want to do that it's not going to help you by doing it in the file based manner so right now we have doing it the PHP message source with the way PHP with the message PHP message source so that is going to read from files yes it is performance friendly it's, you don't have to query for the database for every time that you want something but uh, if you want to get your tra translator to translate every sentence in your website and if your content is updating dynamically then you should ha use the DB message source yes so I'll do a lesson on that as well so how to do the DB message source it's not that difficult uh, we will only have to change a little bit of the code that we have written to do that okay so that covers that uh, I hope you guys enjoy this one uh, stay tuned for more do subscribe do share and do like my tutorials uh, if you have any questions do comment down uh, and I will try to reply as much as I can so have a good day guys and take care and have fun developing with the